What's up guys? We had some questions in the group on how I was using my technical indicator setup to make my buy and sell decisions. So I put together this lesson for you guys. Hope it helps out. Okay, so here we go. When I'm analyzing the chart, this is my cell phone MetaTrader 4 chart, by the way, on the H1. Talking about how I know which direction the price is going based on my indicator setup. So as you can see, we got parabolic SAR, Bollinger Bands, Alligator, Fractals, RSI. I'm going to go break these down one by one, try to help you guys understand what I'm looking for when I look at the chart. So number one, RSI. This stands for Relative Strength Indicator. And the rules for the RSI Technical Indicator, each indicator is going to have rules that you want to follow in order to dictate which direction the price is moving. If the price, or if the RSI meter is at, I'm sorry. RSI meter is at 70 or above, that's considered overbought. which means the price is getting ready to go down. And if the RSI meter is at 30 or below, oversold, price is getting ready to go up. So when you're looking at the RSI down here, You're going to notice a dotted line right here at the 70 mark and a dotted line right here at the 30 mark. So what you're looking for is for the line to touch the pipe with the RSI meter line, these blue and red lines to either touch or go past the 70 or the 30. Here you can see it has touched and broken the 70, which means it's overbought price would be getting ready to come down in this situation and again we're on the hourly so that might take a little bit more time than if you're looking at this on a lower time frame but you can also see down here where it touched the 30 and it was oversold and that's where this huge price spike came from the RSI was oversold. At the same time, some other things were going on that we're gonna cover next. So that's RSI. I'm gonna leave that up for now. Next technical indicator, and probably my favorite, is the parabolic SAR. So the parabolic SAR are the small green rectangles you see going up and down the chart here so when the small green boxes you see here are below the price it means it's trending upwards as you can see the price moving up with the parabolic SAR So boxes below the price trending up. Boxes above the price. Excuse my handwriting on this tablet. Trending down. Hopefully you guys can read this, but you should be listening as well. So, if I'm watching the price go up here with the parabolic SAR, and then I notice that the green box jumps from below the price to above the price, 
If I'm in a buy right here, I know to get out of that because the price is getting ready to come down. As you can see here, sometimes it's not as much of a trend. It might be a slow or a small trend or a consolidation period that that's marking, like right here. But the long parabolic shreds indicate long price movement. So not only will you see more boxes in the same direction, but you'll also start to see more separation in between each box, which indicates rapid price movement like you see here. So that's how you use the parabolic SAR to predict the trend. And all you wanna do is verify what the trend is as early as possible and trade with it. So, next technical indicator is called fractals. These are gonna be small triangles. You actually see those here. And down here. So small triangles below the price indicate levels of support. And then the triangles above the price indicate resistance. So if I see a triangle pop up on the top of the price, I know that the price has just hit resistance and it's getting ready to bounce back down. But if I see a triangle on the bottom of the price, it's hit support and it's getting ready to bounce back up. So now you have three tools that tell you what direction the price is moving in. What you wanna do is line those tools up in the same direction at the same time. So if the parabolic SAR is telling me that the price is going up, while I have fractals below the price that tell me the price is going up, while the RSI is anywhere in the vicinity of the 30 mark, which is telling me the price is oversold and getting ready to go up, now I have a much better chance of making an accurate trade because I've used multiple confirmations. And I'm going to show you this again down here on the M1 while we talk about Bollinger Bands and Alligator Moving Average. So These three white lines you see moving with the price are the Bollinger Bands. So it's going to be three lines moving with the price. And the bottom line is gonna indicate a level of support while the top line is gonna indicate a level of resistance. So what you'll notice is that anytime the price gets close to the bottom Bollinger Band, it'll normally bounce off and start to move towards the middle or the top. If the price is close to or above the top Bollinger Band, eventually that price is gonna fall back down to the middle and eventually even the bottom Bollinger Band. So the price literally bounces off the top and the bottom like a pinball all day so being in the right place at the right time i would know to ride this up and then ride this back down you can literally make profits all day just riding the price trends up and back down using multiple confirmations like the ones that i'm showing you here so the middle line of the bollinger band is what you can consider a magnet
the price is always going to return to the middle line and it bounces off of the top and the bottom. And then the alligator moving average, which are these green, blue, and red lines here in the middle. Whenever these lines are constricted, it means the price is consolidating. You're always gonna notice these three lines start to open up whenever there's a lot of price movement. Now you're watching for what direction the moving average lines are going in. This is an uptrend because the moving alligator average is opening upwards and you see the price moving with it. So, if the parabolic SAR is telling me it's a buy, Bollinger Bands are telling me it's a buy, Alligator Moving Average is telling me it's a buy, the Fractal is telling me it's a buy, and the RSI is telling me it's a buy, what do you think it is? It's not really that complicated once you learn how to use them all separately and reference them as fast as you can. But basically, more confirmations, the better. So you want to learn how to use as many of these technical indicators as you can, start experimenting with them, see which ones work the best for you, which combinations work the best for you and your strategy. You may not necessarily be a scalper like me, so my strategy isn't going to fit you. But eventually through practice and experimenting, you'll be able to develop a strategy that'll work for you and give you high accuracy results. Hopefully this was able to help out.